So this is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology TV. We're here at the Oceanology International in San Diego. We're with Grace DeForest, the site manager for Teledyne Seabotics. Uh, Grace, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Okay. So Grace, um, I'm sure everyone who's watching us and reads our pages knows exactly who Seabotics is, mm -hmm. but if you could just give a short description of your company and the products that you offer. Certainly. So we are an inspection class mini ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle used in a variety of applications, both in the defense and the commercial side. So an ROV is something that you might send. It's a, essentially a small robot that you can send down for inspection okay. and light maneuverability. I understand that you recently moved to a larger uh, manufacturing facility here in San Diego, 80,000 square feet. Can you tell us a little bit about the new facility and the advantages that it offers to you as a company? Certainly. So just to be clear, we have kept our footprint at a training facility down in Point Loma as well okay. on the water, but we've also moved design and manufacturing up to the Scripps Ranch area okay. into an 80,000 foot square a square foot facility yeah, yeah. with advanced pollution instrumentation, one of our sister companies. Okay. And it allows us a broader manufacturing footprint, okay. uh, much more room on the production floor, mm -hmm. and it also brings us closer to some of our other Teledyne facilities, including both Impulse and RD instruments. And so that's interconnect and sensors. And so that from there, we have over 500 Teledyne employees in that small area. Yeah. And so we can move back and forth in terms of labor, but also in terms of technology sharing okay. and troubleshooting. Okay. I understand also uh, that you recently won an interesting Navy contract. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So we recently received an order to upgrade the existing fleet capability for EOD groups, um, Group 2 specifically on the East Coast, and that's for 60 new VLBV systems. So they were originally using LBV, which is our smaller version okay. vehicle, and they've um, upgraded those, and we're, we're going through the process of new vehicles to be the vectored little benthic vehicle. We're here at an exhibition. Uh, the Oceanology International, and there are a lot of vehicles. And obviously, I think per one of our recent covers, we cover vehicles quite a bit. When you look at Seabotics and your position in the space that you serve, where do you see key points of differentiation of the Seabotics product and the Seabotics service? Sure. So that's a great, great question for us. I could talk about that for quite a bit of time. Yep. One of the things that we offer is we're an inspection or a mini ROV. Mm -hmm. So that allows for a diver augmentation or aiding more than it is diver replacement. Okay brings a set of eyes. It's either an acoustic imaging or a visual imaging capability okay. to the scene, which can allow the, for the diver to be brought farther away from a dangerous area or somewhere that you might not necessarily want to send a human. Okay. Um, but at the same time, it can also be used just to simply aid or assess and assist so that by the time the, the diver needs to go into the water, they know exactly where to go. They can have given a full surveillance and, and a full understanding of the area before they, before they go in, can, leave, can allow them to be in the water for a shorter capability or time frame. Mm -hmm. Where we particularly play in terms of differentiation, and this is actually true across the Teledyne Vehicles group, mm -hmm. is in modularity. So we are a low cost solution, we're easily deployed, one or two man or person portable, mm -hmm. and can be taken on an airplane, just take the cases with you, and get off at the other end, can throw thrown out of a helicopter. So all of those things are, are features to which then when you get there, it's, there's a modularity to what we design. So what depending on what the operator requires, mm -hmm. they can plug and play, swap sensors, configure separately or in the field configurations for designed specifically for the need or application at that time. Whether it be an acoustic imaging sensor, whether it be a DVL, depending on what's necessary or some version of manipulation, they can go out there and, and change things out. Okay. okay, it sounds like it's a very flexible system very that, flexible. that kind of uh, transcends uh, many needs within the industry. Yes. Yeah, okay. I really think that one of the, those aspects is that we act as a platform okay. in which then whatever the user needs, we can find a solution and a set of features that will fit that user's requirements. Okay. This is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology TV. And Grace, again, thank you very much for your time.
Thank you, Greg. Glad to be here.